There is an editing technique that is not always appropriate, but I love it and it's great for internet editing. And I call it the interrupting J cut. See, I didn't do it right there. But now I did again. And essentially, it is a J cut through and through. But the audio from the new clip interrupts the audio from the finishing clip rather than, well, letting it finish. And I love using this technique for internet content. And Final Cut Pro is so much better at doing this than DaVinci Resolve. Let me show you. My dorky daddies, how y'all doing? We got a fun one today. I want to get nerdy about the interrupting J cut. Now, maybe there's a technical term for this. I don't know, in internet land. That's just what I've always called it's it. It's a technique that I love to do because it just keeps the, the pace really, really tight. It is kind of a quote unquote retention hack, but in my experience, it's just a lot of fun to play with and just is, it's very internet, right? Like it's not something I would ever use on a documentary or anything of that sort of nature, but for the internet, it's a lot of fun. And as promised, I want to show why this technique is so stupidly easy in Final Cut Pro and kind of how I do it in DaVinci Resolve, which feels wrong but it's the easiest way I've found to do it. So we're gonna go into that today, we're gonna to break this down, and I wanna show you guys, A, how to do this technique, and B, why Final Cut's just better at it. I'm sorry if that annoys you. That is what we do here. We nerd out about editing and software. That's what we do here. So in Final Cut, let's take these two clips, let's zoom in here, and let's make sure the waveforms are massive, nice and big. I want big, tall waveforms so I can really show what we're doing here. So to do the interrupting J cut in Final Cut Pro, the technique that I always do is I select all of the clips that I want to cut this together with, and I expand the audio. Now there is a shortcut, control S. Um, I can't remember if that's the default one, but you can definitely set a hotkey for this, which I recommend. But if you don't wanna do that, just select the clips, right click, and then hit expand audio. If you're new to Final Cut Pro, new to editing, or just kinda of curious about Final Cut Pro coming from the Resolve land, all this is doing is basically just kind of detaching the video from the audio in a clip and kind of link, keeping them linked, keeping them synced up as far as like time code goes, like the, the frames in the video, but you can now do a lot of really cool stuff with this while keeping that linked behavior. So again, once you've done this, it's actually really easy. You're just going to start sliding the video from another clip and deciding where you want that clip to end and then sliding the video from the start. Now, why I love Final Cut Pro for this so damn much is because of what you just saw. In linear editing, you would not get the luxury of as soon as I start dragging a clip, having the audio automatically bump. It seriously makes doing J cuts in general so easy in Final Cut Pro. It's one of my favorite features of Final Cut Pro. J cuts are like the simplest editing technique, but seriously, it's like the nicest little chef's kiss polish. It makes edits really professional. And the fact that you can do this interrupting J cut, just like this in Final Cut Pro is so nice. So let's take a little listen here. What's this looking like? There is an editing technique that is not always appropriate, but is great for- Yeah, that was perfect. That's exactly what I wanted right there. We can definitely clean up these audio tracks here, start and finish. Again, I don't know how important it is. We need to add processing to this, but you get the idea. This is one of the f my favorite features in Final Cut Pro, and it's so easy. Let's contrast that with DaVinci Resolve. God, I wish I could see my waveforms on this shit. In your media browser in DaVinci Resolve, that would be... Sick! We're in DaVinci Resolve, we've got the same clips opened up. Now, I wanna first show you guys what I think the right way to do this in DaVinci Resolve is, which is my least favorite way, and I just find it to be painful. But the way that's less painful, I typically find to be less organized, less aesthetically pleasing from a timeline perspective. So let's show that right here. So the way you would do this is very similar to how you would do a J cut in DaVinci Resolve in general. So leave a little bit of tail end here. Let's cut the end of the first clip. Um, let's cut the second clip nice and tight. 
Let's enter trim mode, which is this right here. And let's hit option so that we only affect the video. And let's slide that audio in there nice and tight underneath. And then let's select these clips and hit shift T, which is just my hotkey to add a cross transition for the audio. And let's kind of hear how this sounds. Is an editing technique that is not always appropriate, but is great for internet editing. I don't know if it's like super obvious here in this example, but this is like a really good J cut. It's not really doing the interrupting thing. And the reason it's not is because I can't really have the audio overlap in the same way that I can in Final Cut, at least doing this traditional DaVinci Resolve J cut method. So let's take those two clips again and let me show you guys how I would do this, which again, I kind of hate this immensely. This drives me crazy. But what I would do, not even joking, is I would trim these clips down. So let's trim this. Uh, let's trim the start of this one. And I would essentially just make an arbitrary cut somewhere in the first clip, raise up that clip from the first one, again, making sure that there's no gap. This looks ugly. Why am I cutting this clip that I technically want it to kind of be the same clip as it was before? And then just slide my second clip into there, right? And if I need to, maybe I'll add a little bit of a cross dissolve, just depending on how my levels are with what we've got going on with the audio mix. But generally speaking, this works really nicely. Um, let's listen to it. There is an editing technique that is not always appropriate, but is great for- Like that's it, right? Like that's what I did in Final Cut. And again, from a purely editing timeline perspective, cleanliness perspective, when I zoom out and look at both of these, this second one is ugly. It's atrocious. It looks so bad. I've got to do the same mixing on both tracks, which isn't difficult. It's just more to keep track of. Whereas this over here looks much better, but I can't get the same result. I can't have that audio really budding on top of each other. And like, if any of you know a way to do this, let me know, but just in general, the way that Final Cut approaches this problem is so much cleaner, works so much nicer. You can still crossfade and in and out the audio really easily. I just love the expand linked audio functionality of Final Cut Pro, and it makes doing this again stupidly easy it's it's awesome dorky dad jake being dorky and nerdy about editing i know but come on guys this is this stuff is what gets me excited comparing these little nitpicky features so my dorky daddies in conclusion in summary we learned what an interrupting j cut is which again is a great technique try it in your videos it's awesome for short form content as well i said internet content that definitely includes that it is a really cool and fun technique and I just really love it. It keeps the pace going in an internet edit. Definitely try it, but also in the process we kind of compared how to do this in Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve and really in my opinion show why Final Cut Pro absolutely crushes in this realm. Um, if you guys love editing, if you love DaVinci Resolve, if you love Final Cut Pro, if you love being a dork, that is what we are all about here on this channel. Um, so consider subscribing. Again, I make a lot of videos like this. I get nerdy and compare this stuff. I love it. I just love editing. And if maybe you've seen a few videos of mine and you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a member. It really supports the channel and I just truly appreciate. My members are the best. Thank you, Dorky Daddy members. We love you. But guys, with that, I'm going to let you go uh, because I need to get back to editing. So see you in the next one. Peace.